How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Astroneer. I'm just suffocating here, that's all. <laughs> and uh, on the last episode, I left you all kind of unaware of what we're going to do with the smelter. On purpose. It was all a part of my elaborate scheme to get you hooked on the series, but it probably didn't work. <laughs> well, I hope it did, because this is a really cool game. We're going to be doing some cool stuff this episode as well. Kind of one of my uh, favorite things about the game, personally. Well, let's go over here and get some oxygen. Good old air. It's always nice to breathe. Uh, it's kind of important, actually. But let's put our ter terrain modification tool up. I'm going to quickly show you guys something that I forgot to show you last episode. Something that's very important as well. So, how in the world can we make it so that we can breathe when we go all the way over there to grab, like, that power? I don't know if you see my cursor or not. But how can we make it so that we can go all the way over there and breathe still? Well, if we go into our inventory, and let's assume that you've got some compound, you can create these things called tethers, which is essentially like ammo. <laughs> not ammo at all, but it looks like ammo. But what we can do is if we use it, well, we'll do that for now. You can see it says... Press T to place a tether. So let's kind of go in each direction here. This is north. Actually, we're going to go that way, I think, because that seems to be, you know, kind of the best, like, direction for stuff right now. And if we go to about here and try and maximize distance about to there, then we can place... Actually, that was the wrong idea. Do that. You can kind of see, like, an invisible little rope there. Then what we can do is actually tether to that, and in the end, kind of keep placing them so that we'll always have oxygen. Think of it like power lines almost. But then you can kind of see I'm going further and further here. I don't think you can really do it with power. I mean, you might. Oh, no. That one's not. There we go. And we'll just get closer and closer to this resource. Just try and go about as far as we can. And they also kind of illuminate a little bit. They have a little bit of a light, which is really useful. But now, as you can see, we've made ourselves go all the way over here to this power bank. And we can just use that whenever we need it, which is really nifty. But that's not really what I wanted to do this episode. That's just something I wanted to show you guys. We're going to be doing this a lot. <laughs> but it's definitely not like something I'm going to focus on. So what we are going to focus on for now, anyways, is gonna, we're just going to come over here. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and go in another direction here just by placing we need to find like a really good center point I think we'll do it there just kind of bring this out a little bit and what we're gonna do is since we've already used this we're gonna start digging down and this this is really a you know kind of a fail or you know pass type situation it could go bad it could go good um, but there's caves underground and if we're digging down there's a high chance of finding one now, on all the Let's Plays that I've seen, I haven't yet really seen anyone do this. Now, not saying I'm unique. Uh, I just haven't watched far enough to see it. So I'm not sure if this is the way to normally do it or if you can find these types of materials, you know, out on the normal world anyways. No, I need power. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about being underground. But you'll kind of see there are some, you know, things that kind of help you in that matter, like a void. What's going on with that satellite? I'm really curious. We'll have to check that out soon. Because we can research, or not research, <laughs> research things, and that would be, ooh, compound, don't mind if I do, that's, that's actually really cool that I ran into some compound. Do I have any power on me? I don't. <laughs> that's a bummer and a half. Let's just try and keep running up. I'm going to have to just dig around until I can find a cave, I guess. Uh, that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me just continuously run back and forth. Uh, but I'm going to keep going until we can find something cool. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Oh, actually, never mind. There's the <laughs> cave right there. Wow, okay, yeah, so let's drop down here. Let's remember this because that's highly important. Um, we're going to place a tether just for light. I know it's not really connected to anything. Actually, if we do that, yes, no, that doesn't help still. But what does help is there's oxygen down here. So we can use that to kind of get some light uh, or oxygen anyways. That's fuel. That's not really what I need right now. Uh, we're underground. Welcome to the underground. <laughs> there's your proper uh, introduction there. That's more fuel. But as you can see, there's more and more resources and oxygen so that while we're down here, we don't die. And that is dangerous. We cannot be hit by those fumes. Otherwise, we will eventually die. I'm just trying to find some more resources. Oh, no. I'm being trapped. Okay, we're going to need oxygen anyways. Let's grab some of this. Why not? Maybe we should make our way around everything. Oh, no, it's chasing me. <laughs> I really want that aluminum, but I can't get it yet. 
Maybe we can get the fuel. Uh, no, here. This is perfect. Check it out. Okay, so this is aluminum. Well, it's not yet aluminum. It's aluminum ore. And eventually we can turn this into aluminum by smelting it, which is really cool. But we're going to need some compound here in a moment first. Uh, let's place a tether just so we kind of have an idea of where we're going. Uh, and oxygen is low. Oh, no. No, no, no. I need to run over here, try and get past all this bad stuff. No, 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 no. I'm getting trapped. <laughs> Oxygen's still low. There's some there. Get it. Come on. Oxygen. I need to breathe. <laughs> and now we're good. I think that's compound over there, too. Or not compound, but uh, copper. I'm pretty sure. That, nope, that's, that's not copper, either. Hmm. Where is some copper? That's pretty much all I'm looking for at this point. Let's try and... Oh, no, I don't have any more tethers. That's not good. I can make some, though. So we'll do that while we're getting this power and oxygen. I should probably save a majority of it, though. But for now, we're good. Uh, there's some. That's copper. That's what we're looking for. So as you can see, it says copper ore there. Let's just grab this, and we'll quickly make our way back. Um, but, yeah, let's get all that as much as we can anyways. We're not really going to collect too much because our inventory is extremely small. But for now, this will work. Why is that one just floating in midair? That's that's not appropriate. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's grab some oxygen and try and make our way back home. However, we're going to do that. I really don't know. Excuse me, bad stuff. Don't mind if I do. I'll just pass you. No biggie. And I think we're just going to like powerhouse our way through this. We'll just dig it up. No problem at all. Looks like there's some little geysers there. Or future geysers, <laughs> I guess we'll call them. Uh, but I think I'm going the right way. I really hope I am anyways. Uh, I don't really know where I put everything. And in the event that we are going the wrong way, I could probably just dig up. Like, that might be the easier solution. Um, and I apologize for the bad lighting. I know it is pretty bad. I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, no. This is not good at all. Uh, it's very easy to get lost <laughs> underground, as you can see. That might be why it's not necessarily the safest thing. I'll grab this compound. Why not? Not all of it. <laughs> just a little bit of it. Now, the cool thing is, is you can actually eventually make your way outside, as I've done here. Literally just now. Let's, oh. Oh, hey, look, we actually have an entrance. We didn't even have to dig, and we're really close. We're really close, actually. That's really cool. I'm really happy we found that out. We just need to remember that direction. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that, and then let's see. That is in the south direction. Okay, so now we know. Now we know, and now we're connected back. Now we have oxygen again. We can breathe. Let's save the game by hopping in here and pressing tab. Boom. There we go. All good. Okay, now we're safe. It's getting a little windy outside. I don't know if you can tell. But let's go ahead and finally use this smeltery. Okay. I freaked out down there a little bit. I was really worried. <laughs> All right, so let's just grab this copper ore and just place it here and there. And then we're going to go ahead and press this green button. And as you can see, that's using all the power. That's kind of a bad thing. But what we can do is take this power here and kind of just repower it. Well, I believe. Yeah, there we go. We're not going to have to do that long, though, because now what we can do is come up here and grab this copper. Uh, although I don't know where the upper other copper went. Is it on the other side, perhaps? Hmm. Because normally they appear on these side slots. I'm pretty sure we did too, right? Then why would it be gone? Hmm. Maybe we ought to go ahead and take one of these out. Because that's where they're usually supposed to go. If it overflows anyway. So I think we'll do that for now. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you kind of how you can get power at night now. If we go into our inventory, now that we've got copper, at least just one, we can create this generator. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to place that where... We used to have, well, actually right there, and that'll work. And as you can see, that takes like an organic resource. And when I started playing this, I was like, what in the world is that? How am I even going to get that? I quit. No, I didn't really do that. But <laughs> if we go over here, you see these plants, right? It's really cool, actually. All you have to do is grab a few of those, and it, it's really easy to get organic resources. As you can see, I've already gotten one there i'm pretty sure yeah organic resource and now if we run back over here in the event that we need power quickly we can do this we can basically just get our organic resource put it back on there and that'll power it as you can see it's doing now oh no am i suffocating well that was bad <laughs> i almost died there and i didn't even realize it all right do we have any more like resin we do let's go ahead and expand a little bit more while we're at it 
Uh, at this point, I'm not really going to do this in a tutorial format because I don't really know what's new. Or not what's new, but I don't really know what else to do. Uh, this is all learning for me still. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this aluminum and get it cooking as well. Get that smeltery smelting as it goes and it does we need more resin that's not good let's follow our uh tethers here wait a minute is this tether not hooked up there we go now it is okay so now wait a minute can you not oh no or is it that's not good <laughs> none of them are connected that's oh man i think i took like did them all a little too far that's not good that that's that's a bummer. Now we have to go through and do them all again. And just, it's more work for us. And I think that's good enough. Now, where is some resin? That's all I really need at the moment. And excuse the ambulance outside. I guess there was a wreck or something because I've been hearing it for a while now. Uh, but anyways, let's run over here and grab this resin. Hopefully we don't die. I don't know what this is. It looks like a pile of Death Stars. Um, wait a minute. What does that say? Oh, organ. Oh. Don't mind if I do. I don't have... Yeah, I do. Look at that. And aluminum. I, I just got some more random aluminum. That's nice. Is it like a chest or something? And in that amount of time, we're almost out of oxygen. Let's grab as much of this as we can while we're here anyways. And just try and get it. That way we can continue on with what we're about to do. This is actually going to be really cool. We're going to get to where we're going to do some research for the next episode. And I'm actually really excited for that. I think you guys are going to dig that. It's pretty cool. And it's research is essentially exactly as it sounds. Uh, you're going to be like researching more about the game and more items to make and more things you can craft. It's just really cool. Well, let's run over here. So that way we can continue on with our machine here, our little base, and place down some resin. Boom. Nope. Bad. There we go. So resin there and resin here. And that again goes down so that now we can choose something. I've never really done a printer, so I'm really curious about that. But let's use the research station. I think I need more compound, don't I? I don't know where I'm going to get any more compound now <laughs> because it's kind of like splashed around in the most random locations I feel like something over here there's another chest that I could get so we may as well do that uh, let's just try and grab some compound I guess wherever that may be and we're getting closer to the satellite so we may as well check that out it looks like it's actually trying to get power or trying to do something it's got like its own little bar thing and the cool thing is, is we can actually dig that out so I'm very curious about that uh, there's some resin down there. Copper. Don't mind if I do. And we'll get that as well. I think I picked it up. Uh, we're getting low on oxygen already. Oh, come on. That's what I need, too. I hope I don't die for doing this. <laughs> I might just die because I've, I've tried to do this without going back and getting oxygen first. We're getting low. I just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I think we have enough. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that. All right. We'll pick that up. That good? Yeah, that's good. Let's <laughs> let's try and run back and not die. Oh no. We're literally suffocating right now. I am going to lose everything. This is it. I'm not even going the right direction. Well, it's been good, guys. It's been fun. We've tried. <laughs> we tried to go without dying, but it's not going to work. That was my mistake. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm literally crying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, I hope I can actually go back and get everything now. We can. Look at that. Okay, cool. Whew. That scared me. That literally scared me. I thought I was going to have to go back and get everything. But it looks like all of our nice kit is here. Just perfectly put in a little suitcase for us. Let's grab that. Don't mind if I do. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. It is literally a suitcase, ain't it? Yeah, I'll take that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Can I actually pick this up? Or is that just... Give me that. Give me that. I'll take that. Oh, God. Is it? <laughs> oh, no. I'm gone. Did you see that? My body. I was going to bury him, too. I was, And now I'm about to do it again. <laughs> you can just see how good I am at this game. But we're almost done. Hopefully, if we don't die again. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to try and finally make this research. Why is this not connected? Uh, let's just put another one down. Maybe that... Yeah, that'll do for now. I don't I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> and I can't get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to do this. So let's put two compound down. It's taken a while, but we're finally here. We, we've done it. We started from the bottom or uh, the top, wherever we are in space. And now we're here, I guess. 
<laughs> and now we've got a research station. And this is one of the things that really amazed me, is power actually gets shared throughout the entire thing. Like, as you can see, power is being pushed through here. And it's actually powering this research station, which is really cool. Really, really cool. And since we're waiting on it, let's go ahead and put more power in there. I think that would work. Unless, I don't know where the power is even coming from, to be honest. Maybe it was using solar power for now. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah. Alright, can we get another generator? Or, yeah, we could, actually. That might be a good situation. Might be smart for us to do that for now. Since we have more organic power, we can do that. Okay, Resource. I keep saying research. <laughs> that's that's bad. Research station. What is research? Why am I saying that? Anyways, guys, find out on the next episode why I keep saying research. That's embarrassing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I can't talk. Apparently, I just cannot talk anymore. I hope you have enjoyed Astroneer Part Two. In the next episode, we're going to research some stuff, or as I like to say, research. Thanks for watching, guys.